When it comes to pest control, the green lacewing is oftentimes overlooked for its abilities to fix a pest problem. These insects are a natural predator to several soft-bodied insects as well as insect eggs, so they are naturally a pretty good solution for getting rid of unwanted visitors in gardens or greenhouses. The honeybee is a very fascinating insect and they offer so much to our world. To give some background, honeybees live in colonies and there are three types of bees in these colonies. There's the sperm producing males, the non-reproducting females, and the egg laying queen. And each of these groups have very different lives and purposes. The amazing way in which these honeybees organize themselves and work together to accomplish tasks is just one of the many ways they are so unique. Throughout this video, I will be discussing which species is more beneficial. The Chrysoperla rufilibris, otherwise known as the green lacewing, or the Apis mellifera, the honeybee. For centuries, honeybees have provided humans with countless benefits that improve the quality of our lives immensely. In fact, honeybees and the work they do is essential to our survival. When we think of bees, the first thing we think of is their delicious honey that we can't seem to get enough of. However, this is only one of the several components that make honeybees so important to our lives. For thousands of years, humans have used honeybees and bee-related products for medicinal and pharmaceutical purposes. Also, bees are by far the most dominant pollinators in all of the world, which allow crops to produce better yields, making them essential for the growth and prosperity of many different crops, including fruits and vegetables. Throughout this debate, I will discuss in detail all of the ways in which honeybees are vital to our lives. When bees thrive and flourish, so does every aspect of agriculture and human life, making the bees and their survival essential to our society. There are some that say honeybees destabilize natural ecosystems since they are constantly competing with native bees and other pollinators who are at risk of extinction. However, as I mentioned before, Honeybees are the most dominant pollinators in all of the world. These bees visit roughly 90% of the world's top crops, and this is simply because they are the best at what they do. They spend most of their lives collecting pollen because their bodies are literally designed for it. The stiff hairs on their legs are what enables them to gather the pollen onto their bodies and then carry it back to where it needs to go. So it isn't that these bees are destabilizing these ecosystems, but rather these ecosystems depend on these bees' excellent pollination skills. Any species that are hopelessly competing with these bees are just collateral damage in this amazing process. The green lacewing also has its own set of skills and purposes throughout society. The biggest benefit they offer is how aggressive these insects are. They are quite literally always hungry and will eat anything that they can catch. They are also extremely affordable, and this makes them a very efficient way to keep pests under control. However, the green lacewing has competitors when it comes to pest management. More commonly used by farmers and gardeners are ladybugs, but what most people don't know is that the green lacewing is a much more efficient insect to use. This is because the green lacewing are not very good flyers, so they don't typically leave the place they are supposed to be protecting. The ladybugs, however, will disperse from their posts whenever they want. It's important to note that adult green lacewing do not feed on pests and it's the larvae that are doing the majority of the work when it comes to pest management. So some could say that the fact that they can only do their job for a short time before becoming an adult is counterproductive. Also, due to their aggressive nature, these larvae have been known to bite humans. However, these bites are harmless for the most part and leave no long-lasting effects. In summary, both of these insects have their own benefits to society. But which is more beneficial? Oftentimes, green lacewing are overlooked for their ability to control pests. They can be extremely useful in greenhouses or gardens for getting rid of moderate infestations of unwanted visitors. And as an added bonus, they eliminate the need for harmful chemicals to control these pests. However, there are some drawbacks. It's difficult to manage something that has a mind of its own. And these insects are small and quick, making them difficult at times to catch and relocate to different areas of need within a crop. Also, once they've had their meal, they could very easily crawl away from their posts, making them somewhat unreliable. When it comes to honeybees, the benefits go far beyond producing honey and pollination. When it comes to fighting disease, these insects and their byproducts have been shown to exhibit antipathogenic properties that have been known to create defense against disease and have healing properties. 
I know whenever I feel sick that some tea with honey is just what the doctor ordered. Also, their pollination skills are unlike any other. Most crops grown require pollination, and the reason these bees are so good at it is because they spend their entire lives collecting pollen. The relationship between bees and crops is a very rewarding one for both parties, and there's no other insect that can produce these amazing results like honeybees can. These insects have such a strong impact on humans, and everything they have to offer us, as well as the environment, is not only beneficial, but essential to our survival. Overall, I would say the benefits of these honeybees far outweighs the benefits of the green lacewing. Although they are both equally important for the environment and agriculture, the bees offer many more tangible benefits to us as humans and our society.